And this is the global forecast for December 2021, brought to you by the wonderful people at AskTheAnswer.com, the UK's leading website for tarot readers, psychics, mystics and channelers. On a personal note, thank you for your patience in waiting for these forecasts. I have had COVID, I still do. I am recovering, but I've still got the COVID cough and you're going to hear me spluttering all the way through this. Thank you for all the nice words, by the way, that have come in. December 2021, we start the month. Well, that eclipse is gone now, but we've still got four planets in fixed signs. Mars will leave Scorpio <clears throat> on the same day. Mars will move, leave Scorpio and move into Sagittarius the same day that Mercury leaves Sagittarius on the 13th, 14th, depending where you are in the world. So I do expect a bit of a sea change at that time. And it should suggest that much of the words and the frustration and impatience and anger that's been tra traveling around the world is going to start shifting from about the 14th onwards. And there's going to be a bit more action, less words, more actions that are going to be a little bit more produ productive. We are seeing Neptune as having stopped going retrograde. We're also seeing uh, the final precise square of the Saturn-Uranus square that's been bugging us all year. Now this is going to continue into the end of next year, but it's not going to be totally exact. So whilst the gravity pressure for consistent change is going to continue into 2022, it's not going to have the immediacy and urgency of this year. However, we've got to get to the end of this year. Venus is now in Capricorn. You're beginning to, those of us in the Northern Hemisphere are beginning to see it rising higher on the horizon after sunset. And it's conjuncting Pluto all of this month. And for many people, especially those born around the 15th, 16th, 17th of their respective month, this is a difficult time of a lot of the intensity, a lot of purging, cleansing, detoxing, and this is going to carry on into the world. So I expect a lot of poison to be brought up from the surface, from, under, from the underground, as we get into the middle of December. A lot of revelations around transparency and truth and trust, especially because Capricorn rules government and politics. We're going to see politicians all across the place being brought to account and rightly so. Um, as we get into the end of the month, Jupiter leaves Aquarius. Jupiter and Saturn come together in Aquarius for one year at a time every 60 years. The last time was in the early 1960s, the next time will be in the early 2080s. So Aquarians can breathe a sigh of relief because the more you get into January, pressure's off. Having said that, I do expect some very interesting developments in the last two weeks of this month. There's a, set, there's a different energy to anything that's happened so far in 2021. And there may well be a little bit of cause for optimism here as we get into the last two weeks of this year. It seems as if there's an energy of growth and uh, there's still a lot of inflexibility and intransigence there's still a lot of the old pompous arrogant energy of of might makes right and and people telling everyone else what to do but there's also cause for hope and it seems that the more we get into the end of 2021 we're beginning to look forward in a way that's not happen for a couple of years. I don't want to get too optimistic here. But as far as December 2021 goes, well, I'd expect more revelations. There's going to be further changes. And uh, yeah, it's going to be another interesting and to a certain extent upsetting month. Catch you next month. Thanks for all the support. Bye now.